Welcome back to another episode of the Cyan Experiment series here on Ladalidi. In this design experiment, I'll show you step by step how to build this effect fast, simple and super fun. Let's jump in. The first step for this experiment is to build the background. I'll keep it simple, just fill the artboard with a bright yellow color. Now go to object lock selection. This locks the background so it won't accidentally move it and we're free to move on. Next grab the ellipse tool and click on the artboard. Set the width and height to 15 pixels to create a perfect tiny circle. Then click OK. With the circle selected, Grab the A dropper tool and pick this orange gradient. Then open the gradient panel from the window menu and looking for a gradient. Adjust the gradient angle to minus 45 degrees. Now let's duplicate this circle as many times as we need. Go to object, repeat and grip. Zoom in a bit and adjust the control. Drag sideways and downward until the circle covers the artboard. For now, it looks a bit too crowded. Let's reduce the number of circles. Go to control bar up here and increase the spacing and try 80 pixels. This number gives each circle more room and makes the layout lighter. Next, let's expand this grid so we can adjust each circle individually. Go to Object, Expand and click OK. Then right click and choose Release Clipping Mask. And finally right click again and choose Ungroup. Now comes the fun part. Go to Object, Transform, Transform Edge. Set the scale to 150% for both horizontal and vertical. And set to move to 100 pixel for both direction. And most importantly, check random. Then click OK. And just like that, all the circles are now in different sizes and random position. Select all, right click and choose group. This keeps everything manageable. Now let's duplicate this group. Hold Alt on Windows or Option on Mac. Then drag the copy upward. Because the gradient is already set at 45 degrees, I'll move it in the same direction. Hold shift while dragging, so that's Alt plus shift together. Next, right click, arrange, send backward. Grab the A dropper tool again and sample the same yellow as the background, so this duplicate blends in nicely. Now for the final step, select everything, go to Object, Blend, and Make. Head back to Object, Blend, Blend option. Set passing to specify distance and enter 3 or 4 pixels for a smooth transition. Click OK. And we are done creating this particle stream effect. To finish, just hide everything outside the artboard. Make rectangle the same size as your artboard. Select everything, right click, and choose make clipping mask. And we are done. So what do you think about this series of design experiments? Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Ladalidi for more design experiments like this. Keep creating, keep designing and let's create together. I'll see you in the next Ladalidi video.